uh, exhibited at Eco Expo. And you are from, of course, our Aircon Miser. Thank you. And the gentleman over there? No, uh, and, and any countries who have uh, exhibited in uh, Eco Expo? Okay. Uh, may, may I ask your experience? Uh, are you, do you come as an exhibitor or a visitor? An exhibitor? May I put you on the spot and uh, also if, like, yes. if you may share the experience, is that okay, Mr. Uh, yeah. We come from USA, we do lighting control system, energy saving lighting control system. And what was what your experience uh, in terms of exhibiting uh, in Eco Expo? Uh, it's a great experience because uh, we have a visitor from all over the world, international visit, uh, visitor, local visitor. We even have a lot of uh, students coming to our booth. So we see it as a very good opportunity to promote our business and also to educate the public about you know, energy saving technology. Okay. And uh, f for, for USA, do you get support to come over here or you come on your own investing your time and money over here? On our own. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, ha having said that, I think uh, in the past, when I met colleagues from uh, the UK contingent, they were very lucky actually, they had the Obama fund uh, and it was well represented, I think, big numbers. And I went back actually to our UK government to say, I wish I've got more of the Cameron Fund. We don't have the Cameron Fund, but uh, we, we, keep, we keep trying. So. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, well, um, Philomena's uh, um, uh, speech actually uh, reminds me of some little secret that I did over the years. Actually, well, every year in the opening uh, settlement, you, you saw me. Actually, I think over the last couple of years, I visit um, the expo more than two times each year. Very often, well, after the official settlement, I think, well, Ben knocking his head. I often sneak back, either sometimes because we, we um, have some other seminars being held at the same time on thematic uh, subjects, like EV, like energy efficiency, sometimes some bilateral arrangements. So I had the opportunity of going back, and therefore, I, usually I didn't waste time, uh, but, go, but went straight into seeing people. Usually, I, well, I ask two questions. If it's overseas company, I ask the question, is it worth coming? Now, so far, every year, I, I, so far, I have not gi given any disappointing answer. And then for locals, I often ask, well, do you actually do some business? I think a majority of people are very, give me very encouraging remarks. And also, one, one little thing is, uh, in my job, I often go to a lot of these um, conference exhibitions. I must say that, well, not all conferences or expos will have so many people all the time throughout the period. And I think our Eco Expo Asia is an exception. It's because sometimes I pop in on a Saturday afternoon, well, the gentleman mentioned about we make it a community day. So kids are around, local people are around, and in fact, well, the, the whole, the, during the whole period, very often when I, when I go back, without the ceremony, without the usher, actually people are still very much active, engaging in, in, in conversation. I think that's, that's one very unique thing, and that's one thing which encouraged us to say that, well, like what Philomena talked to you, is in fact very active, a very business-like, a very uh, sort of a encouraging experience. And the 200 to 300 main and official coming to Hong Kong, these are people who actually would have a very tight schedule because they are often uh, my counterparts in provincial or city governments. Uh, but they make it a point to come every year and to uh, sit down with um, people in the business sector in an environment like this and also uh, in, our, in our networking arrangements. So I, I think, well, for them, it's both business arrangement as well as a process where they can get to understand more the international sort of a arena. For them, I think they, they, uh, they're coming back year after year, speak for itself that way. In fact, they find the opportunity quite useful. So in a way, as I said, is we're using this not just as an occasion for our own, but actually we are serving the wider region 
uh, in our neighborhood. More of an observation, actually. Uh, I think the uniqueness of this exhibition is it enables you to reach out into the region. Uh, there is the Hong Kong market, of course, but from our perspective as a company, it enabled us to make contact with companies that we, countries we really did want to get into, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, and the Philippines, uh, which otherwise would have entailed, A, a lot of expense traveling around, uncertainty when you get there, who do you speak to, which doors do you knock on, People were knocking on our doors, on our stand. That's the difference. You don't have to go out door knocking. People come and knock on your door. And I think that really underlines the point that Philomena is making. Thank you. Any more questions? If I may just add as well, um, a lot of our companies now, once they've been here, they use uh, the Echo as a platform, and nowadays most of them will bring uh, two people. One to be at the stand uh, most of the time, and if they need backup, they will uh, employ or hire a, a, a local uh, a speaker that speaks uh, at least two languages, Putonghua, uh, English, and also we were lucky uh, to have one of the interpreters who speak uh, Japanese. For one of our companies, it was vital for them. And uh, I provide that resource for them. And they said, uh, you know, they met very important uh, 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 Japanese uh, uh, client, and they were able to interact in that way. So it's putting a little bit of resources. I think especially when you people are decision makers, and it's really very little money to put in to give your company the kick. Uh, if they don't come here, they don't see, they don't know. So ho hopefully you give them a little bit of kick and then uh, give them that opportunity. And even middle and large corporation, for some of them who are sales director, who are sales manager or heads of sales or marketing, they say just that little bit of funding, uh, because it's not in their plan, let's say, it's actually serve a little bit you know, for them to come over. But having been here, then they are able to make more informed decisions of, uh, of, uh, of looking into their priorities. I wear two hats today. The second hat that I wear is uh, I brought uh, 28 companies, uh, 33 participants from the UK, mainly from the northwest of England, to participate in Film Mark, which is the film industry. Today is the opening day, and for our companies, again, uh, over 90% are new to Hong Kong and also uh, to Asia. So they, are, uh, they take this as a scoping uh, uh, exercise and also to look at what's happening here and also uh, to look at collaboration, potential partners. Thank you. Have we earned our dessert? <laughs> Thank you.